Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel Farhan Hassan and the IELTS preparation videos of IELTS by Farhan Hassan series. Today we'll talk about the speaking test format of IELTS and most importantly, how your speaking will be marked or assessed because you know there is no accurate or right answer for the questions of your speaking test because it's an output test. There will be a lot of difference of answers. Each and every candidate will have different answers for one single question. So how the examiner will mark or give you the band score of speaking. If you want to know this, stick to the last of this video and please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos about IELTS preparation. Now let's check out the speaking test format and how your speaking test will be marked. First of all, you might be thinking why it's important for you to know how your speaking is marked. Because if you don't know on which basis, which criteria the examiner is going to mark your speaking, you will not be able to improve those areas. When you will know clearly that which particular area is assessed in your speaking test, you will be able to improve and develop your those particular area and eventually you'll be able to achieve a very good band score in your speaking test. So first things first, we'll talk about the format of speaking test, then we'll move how your speaking test will be marked or assessed. So the format of speaking test is same for both IELTS academic and general training. So here you can see that your speaking test will be divided into three parts, part one, part two and part three. As soon as you enter your examination room, the examiner will tell you to sit, then he'll ask you to show your passport. After you have shown your passport, your IELTS speaking exam will officially start. So in part one, it's written introduction. That means in part one, the examiner will ask you your name, your study, your work, what subject do you study or what do you work, where do you work, other familiar topics like your likes, dislikes, your hobbies, gift, meeting new people and like technology, mobile phone, email, language and so on. That means uh, just some familiar topics that we pass by in our day to day life. So this type of familiar topics will be asked there. The examiner will ask you question on that topic. You will answer the questions. So it will be a bit of discussion type part. Here is already written. It's a discussion type part. After this part comes part two. Part two is not a discussion based part. It's a monologue. Why? Because in part two it's uh, also known as the cue card part. Here the examiner will give you a card or a piece of paper where there will be written a particular topic with some sub questions. Then the examiner will provide you a piece of white paper and a pencil and he will give you one minute time to prepare a speech on that topic answering those sub questions. In this one minute you will prepare your speech and you can also take some notes in that paper with that pencil so that you can take help from that notes when you are going to deliver your speech. Then you will have to deliver your speech for two minutes straight. Then comes the last part which is also known as part three and this part is also a discussion related part and the questions the examiner will ask you in this part will come from your part two. That means the topic that you cut in your cue card part or part two from that topic some questions will be asked in part three. So we can also say that part three is the consequence of part two. So the questions of part three will be related directly or indirectly with the topic of part 2. So after this part, clearly your speaking test is done, you are finished with your speaking test and uh, this speaking test uh, usually lasts about 11 to 15 minutes varying from person to person. So now our second part of the video. Now I'll talk about the marking criteria of your speaking test. That means on which basis the examiner will mark your overall speaking test. So the first one is fluency, the second lexical resource, third one is grammatical and fourth one is pronunciation. What's fluency? Fluency means not stopping while you're speaking. So how fluently can you deliver your speech? How fluently can you keep continuing your communication with the examiner in English. This is fluency. So the examiner will give you a band score out of 9 in your fluency, in your overall speaking test. Then comes lexical resource. Lexical resource means an easy word using a lot of vocabulary, not using the same word again and again. So the more you use different vocabulary, new words in your speech, in your overall speaking test, the more band score you will achieve in your lexical resource. 
third one is grammatical so grammatical is clearly how much your sentences are correct the sentences that you are delivering are they correct grammatically or not are the structure correct or not so this is grammatical and the fourth one is pronunciation you all know what pronunciation is that you are pronouncing each and every word in a correct manner or not but remember don't mix pronunciation with accent having american accent or british accent doesn't mean having a good pronunciation or having a pure bangladeshi accent doesn't mean you are having a bad pronunciation let me give you an example let's take a word education someone will pronounce it education someone will pronounce it education someone might pronounce it education well these three are correct but if someone pronounces it education then it will be wrong so this is pronunciation that you are pronouncing the word correctly or not don't mix pronunciation with accent so here is what will happen when the examiner is going to mark or assess your speaking test in part one the examiner will give you a band score out of nine in fluency he will give you a band score out of nine in lexical resource grammatical and pronunciation then in part two the examiner will do the same work he'll give you band score out of nine in fluency in lexical resource in grammatical range and in pronunciation and in part three he will do the same work and then the average of all band score that he has provided you in your each part will be your final overall band score of your speaking test so here was the deal i hope you are very clear with this topic of ielts speaking test format and ielts speaking test marking or assessment criteria so keep in mind on what basis the examiner is going to mark your ielts speaking so that you can improve your speaking on these four criteria so try to improve your fluency try to use different words while you are talking with someone in english try to maintain good grammatical range in your spoken english don't make a lot of mistakes and finally try to pronounce each and every word correctly but don't bother or don't get tensed about having a good accent i hope you like the video if you didn't understand anything you can knock me personally always see you soon in the next video and stay fine stay healthy stay safe goodbye and assalamu alaikum